Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and welcome to a special battle report. It's good to get Matt back on the channel as well. So today, it's Orcs versus... Orcs? Yes, Orcs versus Orcs. I had to legitimately think about that for a minute. You did, actually. No, did you? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> um, so we're running two different clans. So we've got clans smashing against each other. I'm taking Bad Moons. And I'm taking Evil Suns. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Um, we're doing the mission Scorched Earth, so six objectives, but they're worth victory points at the end of your turn. Yep. And if you control the one in the player's of deployment zone, you can choose to burn it and get D3 victory points. Opponent's deployment zone. Opponent's deployment zone. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Orcs versus Orcs, new codex. We're both using the new rules. I think the clan culture is going to be really important and really, yeah. uh, you know, big hit in for us. I'm taking Bad Moons. So I get um, re-rolls of ones for ranged weapons. Yep. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to seeing what these guys do. Um, you're running your evil, evil sons. sons. Um, it's not necessarily your usual speed freak army either. It's not. Um, so what I've done is taken some of the things that may be considered slow, um, but the clan culture there compensates for that by giving you extra movement in uh, to your movement to your advances and to your charges. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see some of that in the game. Yeah, hopefully we will do. And hopefully we'll see, well, I'm going to say hopefully we'll see re-rolls of ones, but I don't want to see lots of ones. But Daka Daka Daka, both sides have got it. And that, you know, um, we've been talking about this, that seems really powerful. Mm. So that's going to be interesting to see as well. Um, so yeah, shall we go and take a look at the armies? Don't forget to click on subscribe and also click that little bell icon so that you never miss any of our content. So this is my 1,750 points of Bad Moon Orcs Day in a Battalion Detachment giving me 8 Command Points and HQ and Warlord. I'm taking a War Boss with a Power Claw. I've also upgraded him to have a De Killer Claw. Next, I'm taking a Weird Boy. This guy has Smite and the Fists of Gork. Really nice psychic power in, uh, to put onto a character. I'm also taking a Big Mech with a Shock Attack Gun. Over to Troops. I'm taking a 12 boy squad. In here there is a big shooter, a boss knob with a power claw. Exactly the same loadout for the second squad. Third squad of troops, shooter boys. Uh, there's a rocket launcher in here, a boss knob with a big chopper. Over to elites, I'm taking a pain boy on bike, which is from the index. Um, but we're going to run him with Daka 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 and all clan cultures. Next elite choice, I'm taking my knobs on bikes. Uh, there's four power claws in here and big choppers. Everybody else is just equipped with normal choppers. Dedicated transports, two trucks, big shooters on these. Testing a flyer out today as well. So I'm taking my burner bomber, always good for the giggles. Heavy support, uh, battle wagon, which is the open top one. I'm also taking a gun wagon. So three big shooters and a zap gun on this. And finally, I'm taking some looters because I want to see how they perform as bad moons so that is my 1750 points of orky goodness here we have my 1750 point army of evil sons orcs the army comprises of a battalion and also a vanguard detachment giving me a total of uh, nine command points so leading the army is Orc Warboss from the Index in Mega Armour. He's got a Combi Scorcher, the Killer Claw, and he's going to be brutal but cunning. Next up we have another Index option, which is a Big Mac with Custom Force Field with a Power Claw. And then final HQ choice, Big Mac with a Shock Attack Gun. So from left to right, I have Elite's Choice, five Burner Boys. They're going to be in this truck with a Big Shooter. First troops choice, 10 boys, boss knob there with a the power claw. Another 10 boys, boss knob with a power claw. We have Gorkonaut in the background, and he's going to have three mega knobs inside him. Boss knob with a shooter and claw, two others with kill saws. Identical unit of mega knobs, riding inside the Morkonaut, and that has the custom force field up on its top there. Third troops choice. 10 shooter boys, big shooter, boss knob with a big chopper. Then six tank busters, five of them have got rockets, one's got rocket pistols, two bomb squigs, and they're riding in another truck with a big shooter. And that 
is 1,750 points. Objective markers are down. The two clans facing off against each other. Six objectives down on the battlefield. We have the Evil Sun Orcs on the left-hand flank. They have two objective markers in their deployment zone. One on top of the Manifactarum building where there is a mech with a shock attack gun. And then we have some shooter boys next to them. Truck which has got the war boss in. And the Burner Boys, then we've got the Gorknaut and the Morkonaut, and there are no the Mega Knobs in one of these. Which one are they in, Matt? Both of them. Ah, oh, there's three in each. Fun times for me. And we've got a big squad of boys with a mech and the second of the objectives down here. And finally, a, another truck that has got a squad of tank hunters inside. Uh, other objectives, there's one slightly in the open just in front of the Bad Moons. And there's another one around the back of this building. The war, the knobs on bikes and the pain boy on this side of the deployment zone ready to sweep around the battlefield, hopefully getting into the uh, Gork and the Morkonauts. Truck with boys in, battle wagon that has got the war boss, the, pain, uh, the weird boy and the shooter boys in, ready to move up the battlefield. The gun wagon shot, uh, firing twice if it moves at stay still or moves at half range. Zap gun firing twice against these guys might work. Looters all hunkered down inside this building with an objective marker. Truck with the next squad of boys in. The burner bomber and the mech at the back of the battlefield. 60 inch range, so nice lines of fire all the way across the battlefield. So Matt finished deploying first, so he gets plus one. So it becomes a four. And I get a six. Do you want to try and seize, man? Attempt to seize. You're going to attempt it? No, with a five. So it is the bad moons to go first. So at the start of the game, Matt has spent two command points already on prepared positions. Into the movement phase, the burner bomber has started its screaming ascent across the battlefield. The knobs on bikes, the pain boy, have all moved up to the centre of the building. Not Even if I'm moving the full 14 around the other side of that building, I'm not in charge range of anything yet. Should have been evil sons! If there'd been evil sons, there's a good chance. If I take on my war boss on a bike so I get to advance and charge, I'd have definitely been in. But they're not. So they're going to hunker down for a turn. The um, warlord inside the battle wagon, he's moved up as well. Everything else has kind of stayed. Still, shock attack gun. The Gun wagon, you can see the front of the Gorgonaut Morgonaut. So we're going to take some pot shots at them. The looters can see it as well. Burner bomber next turn will probably turn and burn some boys with its burner bomb, I'd have thought. So let's head over to shooting. Let's see what damage we can do. So at the start of the shooting phase, the looters, I've used two command points and I've put the stratagem more Daka on them. So Daka 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 goes from a six to a five. And I'm shooting the front one of these, which is the... That's the Morkonaut. Morkonaut. Um, basically, I got 18 hits. I also rolled a three when determining how many shots they get. And... The oh, yeah, using the command point reroll. Thank you, Matt. Um, seven wounds put on this guy. It's minus one, two damage. Prepare positions means it goes back up to a... Goes three save, two save, back up to a three save. So seven of them, Matt. Can you please fail them all? One. Isn't that one as well? Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, because Games Workshop, it's put their logo on the thing. So two go through, so that's four wounds. In the rest of the shooting phase, the shock attack gun fired down at the Morkonaut, taking off another four, five, five wounds. wounds. That was it. Uh, so it's down to nine, which I'll take. Zap gun did nothing at all. Big shooters did nothing. Uh, we lost a couple of boys up here from the shots from the burner bomber. So I think there was about three killed off up there. Prepare positions helping a little bit, but not overly a lot. Uh, we need to do morale yep. on these guys here. There is going to be no charging this turn. So seven boys left. The leadership seven anyway. Yep. Um, so let's see. Oh, they're okay. They are fine. So let's head over to the evil sons. And see what counter punch they can do. So the evil sun's now starting their march across the battlefield. 
The truck has advanced, that's got the war boss in, it's also got some burner boys in there. Guys at the top stay still, Morkanaut, Gorkanaut, and some of the boys down here have all moved around, the mech is there. So Matt will be able to regenerate D3 wounds. She gets three back, that's slightly annoying. These guys hold on to the objective, and then finally the truck has swung itself around this side of the building. Unfortunately, we've had a couple of sound issues so uh, in the editing, so I'm just having to dub over this. The flyer was da uh, chipped off a couple of wounds from the boys on top of the Manufactura building. The shock attack gun shot down at the battle wagon, taking off uh, six wounds, taking them down to ten. The tank busters now inside of the truck are going to shoot at the battle wagon. So Daka 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 in play. Only one hit, but Matt gets to re-roll them because it's against a tank. Gets one six, so that's one Daka Daka. So no extra hit. So three hits. Two wounds. So two saving throws now on the battle wagon. The two and a one. They are through. That's a couple more wounds chipped off that one. So the Gorkonaut is now going to shoot. Matt's decided that the rockets on the top are going to go into the battle wagon. And then the big shooters and what was it called? It is called the Deathstorm Mega Shooter. The Deathstorm Mega Shooter. All them are going against the poor little looters. So rockets first against the battle wagon. Fives. One hit. Yep. Yeah. It is strength eight, toughness seven. Wounds, AP minus two. Six up save. Nope. It's flat three. So he's down to one wound on the battle wagon. Oh, oh dear. They're just going to have to get out and walk. Big shooters. Yep, big shooters. These are against the looters. Yep. Uh, two hits. Excellent. Threes to wound. Two, two wounds. wounds. No minus on it. So they become a five up save. Save one of them. One dies. The Deathstorm Mega Shooter now. 18 shots now. Yep, so it's been updated uh, since the index. 18 shots. Let's see how much we get. Oh, so two with Daka, three with Daka, four with Daka, additional hits. Four additional. Wow, it's not, it's not so bad shooting, Tex. We'll roll those. Additional one. So eight hits altogether. Strength six, AP minus one, damage one. Wow. Five. Minus one to your save. So, six ups needed. That's five dead looters from this squad. So, morale check for these guys. So, you've lost six. Yep. Plus the two. Yep. Leash at seven. Yep. One guy flees. Yep. One extra guy dies. So, we've just double checked. The looters are leadership six, not leadership seven. So, one more guy disappears off the battlefield. So at the end of the first turn, the Bad Moons pick up four victory points. The looters that remain are holding on to that objective. The Battle Wagon's holding on to that one. Truck's holding on to the one on that side. And the knobs on bikes are holding on to the one inside the building for the Evil Sons. The shooters on top of the mech factory. And these guys down here are holding on to that. So quite a destructive first turn, I'd say. I think the loot is taking lots of punishment, didn't help. The battle wagon down to one wound, that, that hurt. Uh, the Morkonaut taking a bit of a battering and then reclaiming three wounds. So how many wounds has he got left now? He's got ten left. He's got ten left, so I could hopefully kill it this turn in shooting. Burning Mama's going to look at doing some burning as well. Now let's head over to turn two. So the movement now for the bad moons, getting a little bit more aggressive. The knobs on bikes fitted through the doorway. They are out. They're looking at close combat with the Morkonaut. If it survives, the weird boy has got out. Probably going to cast Smite down on it as well. The burner bomber has passed over the top of these boys here. So we're going to burn them around there here. The shooter boys and my war boss are out of the battle wagon. They have advanced, but they can still charge. Battle Wagon has moved up with its uh, crippled movement. 
to get me still holding on to that objective. The gun wagon has moved forward like three inches to hold me that objective so I can still get my two shots. And finally, this truck has moved around. The looters are holding on to that one at the moment to fire down at the other truck that's down here. So the plan is dead. Shooting or assault. Now, if it goes in shooting, that'll be quite good because then that will free my bikes up to get into this blob here. Dead. Everybody out. And then we can smash them next turn. But uh, this is orcs. Things don't always go according to plan. The burner bomber having passed over, the boys now gets to drop his burner bomb. Seven boys left, uh, their infantry, so plus one, so I'm causing a mortal wound on a four. Um, um. <laughs> wow, six mortal wounds caused on that squad. There's literally just the knob alive. Opening salvos of this battle have been unleashed the weird boy taking off two mortal wombs off the morkonaut with smite now the knobs on bikes are shooting at the boys this is how many hits i've got after all the daca so three to wound okay not too bad eight wounds caused so matt has a custom, uh, force, custom field. force field so what's that five up? fives oh you've saved two, four. four of them nice four die four alive so with the remaining shots from the flyer, um, all the weapons went against the mech because he is the closest. Unfortunately, no damage done. Um, I'm going to fire the gun wagon now. So the big shooters are going to go against the boys and the zap gun is going to go against the Morkonaut. So let's do the big shooters first. Five and sixes, re-rolling ones. Mm, there's one one. So, Matt knows that these cause extra so there's seven, seven so far. far plus an extra two so there's nine hits extra two dice out two four six eight nine wounded on threes so there's two four six eight i don't know why i had to count that there's just one miss so there's eight five up custom force field Oh. That's not as good this time, Matt. You save one of them. Seven of them. The boys are gone, which means that is first blood for the bad moons. Zap gun time. So let's determine the strength. I do get two shots. So five for the first one. So five or six is needed. It's a miss. So the strength of the second shot. It's only three. Oh dear. It hits though. Causes an extra, which I miss. Um, so because it's only strength three, I'm going to need a six to wound. Do I command point re-roll? No. Nah, <laughs> that'd just be silly. Let's go smash it in combat. Uh, we still have the looters to shoot. We still have the shock attack gun up there. So the looters are going to might as well try and pop. Oh, we've got the truck down here. Do we try and pop the truck or do we go for a couple of wounds off the Morknaut? Yeah, I'm thinking shock attack gun at the Morkanaut and then see what happens with the remainers. See what happens for the looters to shoot at. Um, because if that does go pop, we can multi-assault the Gorknaut and the mech down there, which would be quite nice. So, shock attack gun, heavy D6 shots, five. Its strength will be eight that's quite nice fives and sixes re-rolling ones oh four hits oh yeah and daka daka so two more they doesn't generate so there's an extra one so five hits fours to wound it only two two wounds this is minus five custom force field yeah uh-oh um, I will command point one of these. You are going to command point re-roll. There we go, pays off. But it's D6 damage. Hey, just the one. <laughs> so he's down to seven, but we have got power. Oh, do I command point re-roll that, blow it up and then go into combat? Yes, I'm going to command point re-roll. It's a four, which I'll take. Puts me down four. 
So it's down to four. So I'm now going to try and chip a few more off with the looters. See what we do. So the looters get three shots each. Five and sixes. That's not bad. Get an extra generated one, which hits. So five hits, strength seven, fives to wound. Three wounds. Minus one, damage two. Yeah, minus one, damage two. Four, Four left. Oh, one. Drops. Two wounds. Goes through. He's alive two with left. two wounds <laughs> remaining. And I don't think there's anything else that can shoot it. I'm going to have to go finish it in combat. I could just multi assault. There's no weapons on that wagon, Matt, so I can't shoot. I think it's going to be heading over to assault. So we've got the boys in the. Uh, War boss to go in, and we've got the bikes to head in. So into the charge phase, everybody has made it into combat. The war boss and the boys are in with the truck. The knobs on bikes, they declared a multi-assault. So the mech and the Morkonaut did lose one man from uh, Overwatch, but Matt also put a mortal wound on himself. So the Morkonaut's got one wound remaining. So I'm going to hit him power claws first. There's four of them in here. Twelve attacks, hitting on fours. Uh, three, five, six hits. I'm going to be wounding on threes. Uh, oh, okay, four wounds. This is minus three, Matt. Here come the sixes. I only need all of them. You only need all of them, yeah. None of them. And uh, these are D three, so. Yeah, he's, he's going to die. So does he blow up? Does he blow up on a six? No, he does not. Three mega knobs inside. Oh, yes, the mega knobs inside. They're all good in the hood. So the uh, the Morkonaut goes. We've still got to hit the mech. So only the big chopper now left to hit. Three attacks, hitting on threes. All have hit. Strength seven. So I'm going to be wounding on threes. All have wounded. This is minus one though. So you got a five up, Matt? Uh, four up down to a five up. Yep. Ooh. And it is two damage a pop. So there's six damage. The mech has died. So I'm now hitting the truck with the war boss. I have just rolled. Uh, it's two plus. So that one misses. I don't get Daka Daka and I don't get rerolls for once. That's only in the shooting phase and range weapons. So three hits. So I've got the killer claw. So it's times two strength, um, which it makes me strength 12. So threes to wounds. Twos to wounds. Oh, twos to wounds. Yes, toughness six. Twos to wounds. Reroll wounds because of the uh, relic. So three wounds at minus three, and it's three flat damage. However, Trucks are ramshackle. They are ramshackle. So you get to roll three dice. You may have just ripped my bumper off. I might have done. So any sixes take it down from three down to one. Ah. So no. So that is nine wounds. nine wounds done. One left. The boys are still to hit. So I decided to hit with the boss knob first. I have literally just destroyed it. And then Matt has rolled a six on it. Does it explode? So yes, it does. So D3 or D6 mortal D3. wounds? D3 mortal wounds on a truck for every unit within six inches. So against the boys, three. And against the war boss, <laughs> one. I'm happy with that. Now for the guys inside the trucks, so there's a six in there. Let's see lots of ones. One, one. Okay, one guy dies. It's not horrendously bad. So at the end of the fight phase, what I've done is I've consolidated into combat with the Burner Boys and the Evil Sons War Boss, with my Shooter Boys and my War Boss, um, which means they get to hit. So the War Boss will get to hit, and the Burner Boys will get to hit. So the reason that I've done this is, it's Matt's turn next. If I hadn't have gone into combat, he'd have burnt me with the Burner Boys, probably killing off all of the Shooter Boys that are there, and then had a free charge into my War Boss. War Boss had been on his own, so I'm hoping that some of the um, shooter boys will survive. And then I've got a strategium, which is get stuck in lads. Get stuck in lads, which means I get to fight again. And it's an infantry unit, so I can put it on my war boss. So my war boss can hit 
the other war boss at the end of the fight phase. If he survives. So it's taken me a little time to think about this and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. But I think getting into combat and cutting out the burning option for Matt next time. And I do have a four pin Von save on my war boss. So if tax go in, I've got a, a chance to save him. Um, yeah, it's taken me a little while to think about it. This is what we've done. So we're now going to head over to Matt, who's going to hit me in the face. So Matt's war boss now is going to hit first. So he's brutal and cunning. He also has the killer claw, same as me. So um, lots of attacks, hitting on twos, four attacks. Twos with a reroll. Probably a good thing you got that reroll, yeah. mate. So four hits in total. Strength 12. Strength 12 against toughness five. Twos. So four, and I'm guessing this is, is against my war boss. So I got four four ups to make. So my war boss has been slain, but I'm just about to use orcs and never beaten. So he will get to fight again and it happens immediately. So my attacks are going against Matt's war boss. I get four attacks hitting on twos. Oh dear. I do have one command point left, don't I? So I'm going to use my last command point to re-roll that, which is a hit. Three hits. I am strength 12, twos to wound. All three have wounded. Matt, you have a five up in one save or a four uh, up? Two up normal save, minus three to a five up. Five up, yep, so you get five up. So mega armor. <laughs> and this is flat three damage, so that's three, six, nine damage. That'll be your war boss dead as well. Unless I reroll one. Oh, yes, can you? <laughs> ah, oh, knickers. Mega knobs have seven wounds. Oh, so your war boss who's in mega armor is alive because. Well, because he's an orc and he has one wound remaining. That's slightly irritating. Bit painful. The uh, burner boys pulled down three of the orc shooters. I then lost another three in the morale phase. Uh, this guy over here has ran off. Did you lose any of the burners in morale? No. No, you haven't. They are all fine. So at the end of the Bad Moon's turn, another four victory points racked up, holding on to objectives. Slay the Warlord scored for the Evil Sons as we had into their turn two. The tank Busters now in their little truck moving up towards the gun wagon. Can't think why that might be. Uh, the Gorkonaut has dropped off the Mega Knobs and the Gorkonaut and the other squad of Mega Knobs are heading towards the Weird Boy. Shock Attack Gun has stayed still. Obviously, these guys locked in combat down here. So I think Matt is aiming for dead knobs on bikes and dent gun wagon by the end of this turn, and maybe a dead weird boy as well. So the small arms fire basically now have been concentrated on the knobs on bikes. I've lost three. One is on one wound. And also the looters have been completely and utterly wiped out from the... Uh, Gorkonaut opening up. So yes, that was slightly painful. So where are we going next, Matt? We're going to go with the tank busters against the gun wagon. So we're going to use a stratagem. Oh, we're using a stratagem as well, are we? Extra stick bombs. Is that one command point? You only yeah. have one left. So this is the last of Matt's. Extra stick bombs is one. So every unit can now throw a tank buster bomb. Every, unit Every model can throw a tank buster bomb. Now I know what tank buster bombs can do because I, I have used them and they are slightly painful. So we're going to have the two squig bombs are going to go after the damaged battle wagon. So, okay. Two squig bombs after the battle Three wagon. First. Okay. Squig bombs. Hit on twos. One hit, one miss. Reroll because we're shooting a vehicle and tank busters. Both hit. Yep. Strength eight, toughness seven. Yep. One, one wound. wound. AP minus? AP minus two. So six up. Nope. And a squid bomb is D6 damage. It's only got one left. Oh. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> boom! Does, wow, does it go boom? Does it go boom? No. Well, that's that battle wagon inside that building gone. So, tank buster time. Six D3 grenade shots. Oh, dear. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt 
this gun wagon. It is untouched. It does have 16 wounds. Hitting on fives. One six. Yep. Triggers the daka daka daka. Oh. And also I get to re-roll these because you're a tank. So that's another one triggered. So the other shot. Oh, I'm going to roll another one. Which I can re-roll because you're a tank. No. There we go. That's the hits. So that's how many hits we've got. Right. Tank buster bombs. Oh, strength eight minus two. So I believe that the gun wagon is toughness eight. So fours. That is dirty. That is actually quite dirty, isn't it? Minus? Minus two. So six ups, how many? Six. Six ups. No, none of them. And this is D6 damage each. Oh, wow, D6, here we go. Six, 12, 18. Yeah, it, it's, gone. Tw it's, it's gone. 24, it's, Matt, Matt, it's dead. 28. Matt's dead. I've killed your Valiant, mate. Do I blow it up? No. So the gun wagon has gone, the battle wagon has gone. Matt has decided to shoot the shock attack gun up at the flyer. He's hit, he's wounded, he has two wounds. These are D6 damage and I can't save them. So, 11 wounds left, I could go here. Oh, six, no rerolls on that. So I'm still alive, I had 11, I've just lost six. Ouch, we're gonna be heading over to the charge phase now. This is going to be painful. So into the charge phase, everybody has made it in. The Gorkonauts and the Mega Knobs went into the bikes and managed to do a wound with Overwatch. And the Mega Knobs made it inside the building to take on the Weird Boy. Gorkonaut now is going to be the first thing to hit. He's doing the smash with his fist. Yep. So 18 attacks, hitting on threes few misses, but there's a lot of six hits, misses. only 6 out of the 18, so 12 hits, wounding on, base strength, so strength 8, toughness 5, yep, three so 3's wounds. to wound, oh dear. so 5 wounds, minus 2, 5 wounds, minus 2, so I've got 6 ups, so I'll save one of them, and then these are 2 damage each, so 2 damage each, so, uh -huh. So I'm going to have to roll these Feel No Pains two at a time. So no, so that's one dead. Next one. No, so there's one with one wound left. He's dead and then that's it. So the knobs on bikes have been completely pulled down, but the mega knobs now will probably be against, well definitely against, the pain boy. Two kill saws now from the mega knobs onto the pain boy. Four attacks each. Hitting on. Fours. Okay. That was not very good. So two hits. It's going to be enough. Two's. Two wounds. Minus four. So I can't save them. How many damage? Damage two. So four altogether. So four six ups. Nope. None of them have been saved. Pain Boy is holding on with one wound. However, Power Claw. Power Claw. Hitting on fours. Oh dear. Oh, excellent. They all miss. I'm happy about that actually. So the pain boy is alive on one wound, which means I will get to hit him back. But we've got the other mega knobs to do first. Uh, kill source. Yeah, kill source, eight shot, eight hits. Force to hit. That's better. Two's to wound. Yeah. So three wounds. Uh, six damage. Yep, yeah, so there's nothing I can do about it at all, so the uh, weird boy will die. So next to fight will be the war boss that's still in combat with the shooter boys. There is the boss knob and two shooter boys left. So, four attacks, five attacks? Four attacks. Four attacks. Twos. No re-rolls. All hit. Twos. Strength times two, yep. damage three. Twos. They are squished and dead. The pain boy now gets to hit back. Four attacks, I'm hitting on fours. All but one has hit. I'm strength 10, so win on twos. 
All three have wounded. This is minus four, so it's six up save. It doesn't save any of them. They are two damage a pop so as well. One dead? Yep, one dead. One on one wound? Yes. So one Mega Knob dead, one on one wound. I'll take that, definitely. So at the start of the Bad Moon's turn three, I've been, well, I'm trying to be cunning. So the boys out of the truck, now holding onto that objective and got a nice little fire position. The truck has moved forward to hold me a second objective. The boys in this truck have jumped out to recapture the objective that was lost by the looters and this truck has stayed still. So shots from the big shooters down at this truck, trying to kill it. I do have my shock attack gun ready to shoot that if needed as well. So these boys have advanced, but these guys haven't. So they can put shots down onto the mega knobs behind that building or onto this truck. Now, oh, and the bomber has come down and flown this way. So shots going down into these boys here. Um, Pain boy, he's going to try and heal himself. So he hasn't moved. So I don't want to see a one. Otherwise he loses a wound. So he gets a three. And this is D3 wounds back. Two wounds back. which puts him on to three wounds now. So let's head over to Orcs shooting. The very short lived shooting phase there for the bad moons, but we managed to do two wounds on the evil sun's trucks. That was done by my trucks. Uh, the Orcs, they shot in as well, no real damage. Shock attack gun was a big disappointment. Uh, it was only strength six, I hit twice and then rolled snake eyes on the wounds. And down here we killed off seven of the boys. They are going to have to uh, do something amazing to pass a morale check down here. But we're going to be heading over to the charge phase. We've still got the pain boy in combat, but I am tempted to take the two trucks into combat. Into the charge phase, Matt has failed overwatch shots from the big shooter onto my first truck that's going in. It's a five inch charge, do not have, here we go. He has made it in. This truck to there, it's a 10 inch charge, so I need nine. Happy days, both trucks are in. The trucks get three attacks each, so I'm gonna roll six dice. I need fives to hit, fives to hit. only uh, the one hit though. It's a little bit annoying. So, I need fours to wound. Oh, take a wound. Four up. Oh, he saves it. Right, Matt attacks back. Three of them. Let's crump the one in front of us. You're going to crump it. One hit. Forced to wound. <gasps> Wounded. Crump it real good. Yes, I've taken a wound. I'm down to nine. Pain boy. Four attacks. Hitting on fours. Two hits. I'm going to be wounding on twos. Two wounds. Six up save, Matt. No. And this does a flat two damage. two damage. So one more dies. Attacks back now for the Mega Knob. Four attacks. Hit on fours. Yep. Two hits. Strength 10. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. Uh, minus four. So I don't get a save. And they're two... Four saves. Uh, sorry, four feel no pains. So four six ups. He's got three wounds left. He's dead. He's very dead. In the morale phase, Matt passed the Mega Knob but failed with the boys. They have ran away from the objective and ran off the battlefield. This is, we're, well, both sides now are quite thin on the ground. Playing the bit of a long game now, I do score three victory points this turn for holding on to three objectives. Try my best to pull away from Matt. I'm currently on 12 victory points where Matt is on six, heading into his turn three. Shock attack gun on top of that building. It's turn to face the burner bomber. Over this side of the battlefield, basically everything is now moving. The truck has fallen out of combat. The tambusters got out. That truck has then zoomed across there to get that objective. Mega knobs have moved forward, looking over here. The Gorkonaut has made its way down the street. The war boss has slowly making his way across the battlefield, but the burner boys having a little party, just the four of them, in a line. 
put that out of line of sight. And then finally, the mega knob that's alive has fallen back onto this objective here. So the mega knobs that advanced had to hit on sixes failed to do any damage, but we're straight over to the tank busters on my poor little. Yep, we'll start with the tank buster bomb. Turns out there was one that they hadn't thrown. So D3 shots, mighty one. Just the one. Hitting on a five. Oh, I've got dice. Hitting on a five. No. Reroll because you're a vehicle. Nope. Nope. Then we've got two shots from the pistols. Yep. Hitting on fives. Uh, Reroll because you're a vehicle. Daka daka. 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 <laughs> two uh, hits. So two hits all together. Strength seven for this rocket. Toughness six for the truck. Two wounds, minus two. So two six ups. I pass one of them and fail one. So D3 damage, two, unless your ramshackle kicks in. Which he doesn't. So two damage on that truck, so I'm down to eight. Then four more rockets off the rest of them. Uh, single hit so far, re-rolls. Three hits so far, plus Daka. Four hits all together. Wow. Strength eight, so threes. Oh dear, just the one, minus two. Nope. Uh, straight three damage, unless your round shackle kicks in. Nope. Three gone. So I'm down to six on this truck. Shock attack gun now is gonna be shooting my flyer. Strength? Two D6. Seven. Seven, okay. D6 shots. Five shots, oh wow. Oh, very nice. Hitting on sixes though which also triggers Daka Daka. None. Yes, excellent. All misses and no Daka Dakas. I'm happy with that. Next. Next up, we'll have the Death Storm Cannon shooting up into the uh, unit of boys holding yep. the far objective. Yep, so shooting these guys. Now, they do have the advantages of cover, but I don't think it's really going to make much difference. It's 18 shots. Yep, just getting all my dice together. Hitting on fives. And see two, two sixes. Dakers. Nope. And then strength six, so threes to wound. Oh dear. Nice. Got all wounded. Six wounds. AP minus. Yeah. So I still get my six up save. I pass one of them and five guys die. So Matt has just, well, Matt had already decided the big shooter's gonna go against that squad and then the rockets into the truck. So big shooters first. Yep. Ooh. Three hits, two yep. Daka. Yeah, still the three. Threes. One wound. No. So five up save, because they're in cover. Passes it. Then the rockets. Two rockets. Daka. One hit. Threes to wound. Ah. Doesn't wound. Just the one, so that doesn't wound at all. And that is shooting. And that is everything shot. Over to Assault if you're going to go in, which I'm guessing you are. So the Gorka Morka is going to attempt to multi-assault both of the trucks. He's going to need nine because it's 10 inches on the measure. Overwatch. No Overwatch at all. Will Matt be able to make the charge? Here we go. Not with that, so you're gonna hear you're gonna here we go with that one. No, he still doesn't make it, so it's gonna be down to the tank busters. But the Gorkonaut gets plus one to his charge, so he definitely does make that. So the Gorkonaut's gonna go first. Um, basically, how many attacks on each truck? Nine uh, so on each. Three attacks on each, yep. which then become three because he's smashing rather than crushing. Yeah, you're smashing rather than crushing. So here we go. First truck. Threes to hit. Come on, miss. Nicely. Uh, then strength user, so strength eight, toughness six, threes to wound. Wow. AP six, minus. Minus two, damage two. So I've got six, uh, six six ups to make. So don't make any of them. And then six ramshackles. And then six ramshackles. So don't make any of them. Do you go back? Please let me explode. Oh, boo. Next truck. Same again. Yeah. Nine attacks, hitting on threes. There we go. It's still not horrendously bad. It's not bad. Threes to wound. 
that's four go through this time. Sixes. Save one of them. And then sixes for the ramshackle. None with the ramshackle. So six damage goes through. Uh, he had nine left, so he's still alive. D3 attacks now. Two. Hitting on fives. No. No hits from that truck back at the Gork. So at the end of the turn, three victory points scored. Because Matt failed to destroy this truck, that is contested. So uh, only three scored. Into the Bad Moon's movement phase, the flyer, slightly damaged, has moved across. I am going to be dropping a bomb on that knob's head in a moment, but the rest of the shots will be going down into the tank. Buster's down here. I've kept my truck still, kept them boys still. These guys, uh, the shock attack gun, big mech, has stayed still, and those boys just shuffled into the building a little bit, still holding me that objective, but I get the full benefit of that cover. Now, so, let's see if we can kill this guy. It's a four plus a need. You don't do with a one. Super shooter, fives to hit. I get three sixes out of that lot though, so daka daka daka. An extra one, so I get four hits. This is strength six, get okay, toughness four, so threes. One failed, so three, it's minus one, so there'll be three dead. Because there's two ones in there and because I'm uh, bad moons, I get to re-roll them. So there's no extra from them. Uh, we've got the big shooters to do. And now this is being manned by a grot. So I'm hitting on fours. Not brilliant. Only the two hits. Strength five. So threes. Two wounds. Two six up saves. Nope. Two more dead tank busters. And then we're going to shoot with these boys down at them as well. So the big shooter has just chipped a wound off. The rest of the boys now to shoot. Get two sixes in there though. That's another one. That's a re-roll for bad moons. Nice. Happy with that. Going to need fours. Two wounds. Ha! <laughs> Look at them dice. He is alive with one wound remaining. Um, I think that big shooter from up there is going to uh, shoot down at him. And then the rest of the boys' shots will probably have to go down into the mega knobs, I'd have thought. So, big shooter. One hit. No wounds. Wow, okay. And then we're going to work out what boys can see now, the mega knobs. So, four of these boys can see. Reroll that one. Which then gives me two on the dackers. So, four hits. Force to wound. I need the one wound, though. Two ups, saved it. Right, shock attack gun time. Where am I gonna put that? So I was toying with the idea with the shock attack gun. I can't shoot the Gorkonaut because he's in combat, but we've got the truck around there. We've got the Mega Knobs. So I'm gonna go against the Mega Knobs. It's D6 shots, which is only two. Strength, five. Okay, five and sixes. One hit, one miss. Strength five, toughness. So threes to wound, no wounds from the shock attack gun, poor rounds of shooting. Into combat, the uh, truck now D3 attacks, it only gets the one, we need a five. No, nope, it's another one, I think the dice guards have turned their backs on me. Uh, over to the Gorkonaut now then, to hit, gonna crush. you're going to crush this time. So threes. Okay, lots of hits. Yeah, off, eh? uh, twos. So, four. four. Uh, minus, minus four, so no save, but ramshackle. So I've got four sixes to make here. I make one of them, so one of them goes down to one. So he's got two left. Dead. He's definitely dead. Does he blow up? I kind of want him to. No. Evil Sun's movement. The one remaining tank buster foul morality has disappeared. The Gork is moving forward now, looking at getting into combat with the boys in the building. Over here, the burner boys have entered the ruin. Mega knobs have moved up and the war boss has advanced. Yep. So there'll be some charging going on after shooting. The shock attack gun's kind of just wiggled around. Probably going to be shooting my flyer, I'd have thought. 
Shock attack gun is firing at my flyer, so strength. Six. Six, okay. D6 shots. Three. Hitting on fives. Oh. Oh. Daka daka. Just the one. So strength six, toughness six. Fours. Wounded. AP minus five. So I can't save it. D6. D6. Need a five. So we're a one. So my flyer is alive, but with four wounds. Next to shoot will be the Gorkonauts. Basically all of the weapons or the shooting weapons are going across here to the boys, but the rockets coming after my flyer. So rockets first. No sixes. No, nothing off the rockets. Death quite, Storm. Here we go, the Death Storm gun, the one that's got 50 billion dice. Death Storm mega shooter, straight in front, fives and sixes. There's no sixes in there. Uh, there's one six. Oh, two sixes in there, so you get two extra. There's a lot of misses. So it's two extra. Hey, they can oh. Strength six, so threes to wound. Only three. Only three wounds. AP minus. Minus one. So I get that back. So it's three. Six up saves. No, three dead boys. Twin shooters. Yeah, twin shooters now. One extra. Nope. Three. One. Right. Five up. Make it. Nice. And Scorcher. And the Scorcher. D6 shots. Oh, just the one from that. One. Threes to wound. Wounds. AP minus one. Six up. No. Four dead boys from this unit. Next to go will be the Mega Knob, so they have advanced though, so shooting into the boys. No. Nope. No, nothing. Burners? Burners. Burner boys. So D3 shot times four. So just the four shots all together. I'll we'll take that. Auto hit, fours to wound. Just the one wound. AP minus? Nope. Six, five up, because, well, no, it makes no difference. There's one dead boy. So around the back of the battlefield, the Mega Knobs have made it into combat and so have the Burner Boys who were allowed to charge in because they were within six inches of the war boss. The Gorkonaut cannot charge because I am inside a building. Mega Knobs inside that building then are going to hit first kill saws, eight attacks. Four's to hit. Not bad. Three. Yeah. yeah. Two's. Two dead. Two dead orc boys, and then we've got the other attacks on the other guy. Power claw. Oh dear. One hit. Yeah. Another one dead. So three dead so far, but then the burner boys are also going to hit, which they're going to do now. Eight attacks. Three's to hit. Four's to wound. Oh dear. No, they've all missed. Just three dead orc boys from that squad. Time to hit you back. So I've decided to split my attacks. There's seven normal boys left. They're going to go against the burners. And then the power claw boss knob is going to go against the mega knobs. Normal boys first. Re... Ooh. Three's to hit. Three's to hit. Don't get my re-rolls though. That's not bad actually. And then these need to be forced to wound. Okay, that's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six normal saves there, Matt, on your burners. Sixes. And they're dead. There's and that, only four left. Yeah, there's only four of those guys left. That unit is wiped out. So, power claw time. Three attacks, because he's a boss knob. Hitting on fours. Not one. So morale phase, I've just rolled a six for this squad down here because they lost four guys. So that's unit wiped out. I then rolled a six for the unit in that building as well and killed off another three of my own guys. Well done, Orcses. Right, we're going to head over to turn five. Matt has just scored four victory points. One, two, three, and four with there. Doesn't hold that one though because my boys are still alive. So it's really close now on victory points as we head into turn five. So the only thing to move this turn is my flyer. He's going after the warlord down there. 
Um, I've just opened up with the super shooters and the twin link shooters, and we have got four wounds, two off each. So do you want to do the um, super shooter first? Because these are minus one. So this is a three up save. Here we go. He's dead. He's got one wound left. That will be slay the warlord for the orcs. Um, I've also fired the bolt. Well, they're not bolt pistols. The uh, sluggers which are pistols, into the Mega Knobs, no damage done, just the shock attack gun now to fire. Shock attack gun I shot down at the truck, managed to only take off three of the wounds, quite poor rolling. So in the fight phase, the boys and the boss knob attacked, killing off one of the Mega Knobs and the Power Claw guy died. So we now got eight attacks coming in from the Mega Knobs. Can I survive this to hold this objective? Pause. Okay, quite a few misses. Yeah. Three hits. Two. Three dead. Just done the morale phase and I rolled a six. I lost the remaining boys from that unit. So I do not get the victory point for holding that objective. The Mega Knobs are perfectly fine. So I have got my flyer and my shock attack gun left. So Matt needs to kill off this guy in the building and my flyer will disappear because of boots on the ground rule. Um, and if the game ends now, at the end of this turn, I think Matt is just going to edge the win with the objectives he's holding. But let's see. So the only thing to move in Matt's turn was the Gorkonaut. That's moved up towards the shock attack gun. He shot all of his shots into him. No damage done only had to make two saving throws and i saved both of them the shock attack gun over here fired at the flyer completely not a whiff fest now matt has decided because this is in my deployment zone he's going to burn it which is d3 victory points so that's three and he gets four five six this turn for holding on to the other objectives so that's the end of turn five so do we get a turn six? No, we do not. So there we go then, guys. That is the end of the game. It has been an orc slaughter fest, but it is a win for the evil sons. 20 victory points to 15. They also scored a line breaker, giving them that extra one. Great fun game. Bloody and messy. Let's head over to the post-game review. Hi guys, welcome to the post-game review. Well, that was a bit of a slaughter. Messy. Yeah, that was really messy, wasn't mm. it? And both of the Orc clans there, I think, shone a little bit. I think the Evil mm. Sons did what they do best, of moving quickly up the battlefield, because you yeah. did, you got all the way to my deployment zone. I think the Bad Moons, I think the re-rolls helped me. Definitely. Um, Daka 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 is just... It's made Orc shooting actually viable now. Mm. It really has. I mean, you know, there was sometimes in there and I was rolling four or five sixes in a round of shooting, getting those extra attacks. Doesn't mean they're going to convert, but it's just nice to have yeah. that option and that ability to, to add to your attacks. And then when you've got the stratagems there that mean that you're hitting on fives, fives. instead. More Dakar. Yeah. Um, and the interesting thing to take from this is that, you know, it's a little bit of an eye-opener to see that the different clan cultures actually can benefit different elements of the Orc army. Yeah. So actually it points that in, in your larger games that you play, you are probably better off taking specific detachments that play to those strengths. Yeah, so I think the next time I do a battle report, I might actually run um, maybe a spearhead in the patrol or yeah. three patrols and then just, you know, goff, bad moons, evil sons mm. and maybe get in speed freaks on one side to so all my bikes and, you know, take them as normal war bikes Yeah, um, with a HQ choice. So they've got the speed up the battlefield. Then you've got your bad moons re-rolling ones. Then you've got your, you know, your goff so you can take gas and something like that. And... That'll be interesting to see you as need well. To get yourself some tank busters. I do need to get tank busters. Well, those boys are good. They were really good today. Until the FAQ hits. <laughs> yeah, until the FAQ hits, and you're only throwing um, stink bombs and not tank buster bombs, mm -hmm. which are vile. Maybe, maybe we don't know. We are we are guessing, but that that would say to me that that is something that's going to get FAQ. Because what did you do? Twenty eight wounds. Twenty eight wounds. Yeah, that's that's. And that know, was only a unit of what five six was it throwing? Yeah. So you could fit twelve into a truck easy. And if you chuck them at a D three shot, you chuck them at a stomper, for example, which is what forty wounds. You could kill off a stomper with just chucking grenades at yeah. it at the moment. 
that seems a bit OP. But then again, I'm not going to complain because orcs need help or, in the past. Or do you we're going to leave it in there and it's going to be um, to shake up the meta completely. Again, it's something else we discussed as we were We have in. discussed this. Um, so things like your tank busters and whatnot, it's fair enough, it's a one-trick pony and people will get used to that. But still, you go against the night army and you get in that situation where you're six inches away and you go, right, oh, spend one command point and yep. delete an eye. Puts the fear of God in people. Yeah, I, you know. Um, so what we were saying with regards to the, the shake-up for the meta is you look at the orc list as a whole and you think, oh, yeah, yeah, this is going to take on the meta quite well. But then things like uh, the list that you don't see very often at the yeah. moment, so Nid armies, um, Tau. Wolves, Tau, yeah, can actually counter the orcs quite well as well. Mm. So it's like you've got this game of rock, paper, scissors that uh, the current tournament scene is, and everyone's currently taking... Um, scissors and paper and then suddenly the orcs have been thrown in there yeah. which is the rock yeah and I think I'm trying to work it out because one of the things I don't have much of is boys mm. and I think this codex helps because speed freaks you're going to want to take you want to take yeah. bikes and things like that and that helps and so I don't think you need to have you know six squads of 30 boys that takes seven hours to move across a battlefield because you've got to move every model Yeah, and I think this codex helps tailor your army to how you want it um, and having the ability, me, to be able to go, oh, I fancy having a pop at this clan culture, which you have taken the mick out of because they're not painted in any it's way a near. Very, very dark shade of yellow. <laughs> very dark. It is so dark you cannot see it. They're blood moons. They are free Hence boons. The rest. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, but I, I can kind of pick which ones I like, and then maybe if I find a clan culture that sits me best, and at the moment that seems to be Evil Sons and Speed Freak. Yeah then maybe I'll start tailoring my army to, to fit that colour scheme a little bit more. Mm. But at the moment, I just want to kind of cherry pick and, and see which ones I like. And I like the fact that you can do that with the Orcs. I, I really am. And it's nice to have my love back because 7th edition kind of killed the love for the Orcs. Um, Index did not help us at yeah, yeah. all. That was that was really bad. And now the Codex has dropped and I think the love is back. I really do. How about you? How do you feel with the new uh, Yeah, pretty much the same. So the new Codex is hit and there's um, quite a a large proportion of my group of friends that are war gamers play orcs anyway, yep. rich included. Um, and we've got an event that we tailor in for, um, which is a campaign weekend at Warhammer World in yep. January. And actually a group of us are going, you know what, we're going to go, we're going to join what's called the Invader side. So you've got Imperium, Chaos and Invader, which caters for everything else. Yep. What they don't realise is we're going to hit them um, like a big green war. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's going to be Invaders, nah, nah, this the orcs clan now, boys. Yeah. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to rock up and just take over Warhammer World for a weekend. So I did try and get a ticket for that, and um, we did missed we missed out, unfortunately. And I was actually going to take my orcs as well because they're fun and they're great. Yeah. yeah, in, yeah. In, like I said, somebody could take a complete meta list, and you'd probably stand a very good chance of beating them with this with this new force. And that was, I mean, it was twenty. I'm just looking at the board. It was twenty yeah. victory points to fifteen. And realistically, Literally, the game changed halves. Um, turn four. Yeah, so you were absolutely dominating. Um, good control of the objectives early game. Yeah. Um, scoring four, four victory points every turn at the start. I was limited to two. Then started to pull it back in the mid board to three. Yeah. Then when I got into your deployment zone, started to pull back the four. Yeah. Which is I was pushing your units back and destroying them. You were dropping out from four to three to two, and it switched round. It did really, really switch so, round, and getting line breaker meant that you pulled yeah. an extra one ahead. And um, we both got to slay the warlord. I managed to get first blood as well, but it took us to turn two to get first blood, which forks. Yeah, yeah. Imagine you saying that. I mean, for the first turn, I was throwing a lot of firepower at your Morkenaut, yeah. which went pop thanks to my orc bikes, which again are they seem to be tough again. They do seem to be quite. You'd have got that charge if you made them evil sons. If I'd have made, if I'd made evil sons, they'd have been in combat turn one, and they'd have had my um, war boss on a bike so they yeah. could advance and charge. Um, I think that would have probably helped them as well. So yeah, but really, really good fun game. Really enjoyed that. Orcs versus orcs is something that you don't normally see. It's normally orcs versus no. marines or something like that. So so we thought we'd mix it up a little bit and and go at two different clan cultures and and see who was victorious. And this time it was the evil sons. The orcs won. The Orcs won. Uh, the Orcs won a battle report on Geeks War Gaming. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's about yeah. time. That was a almost guaranteed. Um, one of the things I'd like to do is um, where get Matt back on the channel and do a much bigger point. Because I have two stompers. Ooh. Now, I have two stompers. One of them needs a slight repair. But um, when I say slight, it pretty much needs rebuilding. Um, something fell on it and it was heavy. Um, but I'd like to get both of my stompers on. It wasn't on. me, by the way. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was a book. In, uh, long story, painful. Um, 
So yeah, I'd like to get a battery put on, which mm -hmm. is masses of points, loads of orcs, two stompers. You got your gork and your mort. You've got a stomper. Yes. So we can really go at it. So is that something you guys would like to see? Would you like to see a massive orc on orc game? Maybe one of us could take Gaz. Or conversely, oh, we ally together. We do ally together. We could take three stompers in the game, but they're not that great either. Shh, don't tell the opponent. Oh yeah, let's not tell them Umi's that. Yeah, that's a good point. They can use knights, so we can throw stick bombs at more. <laughs> Easy tell us. We could do. We could do because I've got two knights. Robin's got six, seven. So we got my knights. And you got your knights. So we, for a day. we can all throw knights together, and then we can. Me and you can go out the knights with orcs. All the classic orc versus imperium. Yeah. We could do that quite easily. And I think a big points game with Orcs, I think, would be really good fun to do. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment. What do you think of Orcs versus Orcs? Slightly unusual. I'm quite glad we managed to get that one on. Are you glad the Orcs won? Evil Sons won. Bad Moons didn't. <laughs> um, yes, but please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget, to, don't forget to click that little notification icon so you never miss any of our content. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.